In this video, I will provide you with a couple of reasons why you are going to locate a sanitary tee in a specific position for a drain or a roof vent. And here you can see where we have a vent for the bathtub going out of the roof and a vent for the toilet and the sink going out of the roof. And if we zoom in on the drain, you can see that the sanitary tee is positioned in the upright position or what I would like to refer to as the upright position so that the water from the sink can drain towards the sanitary tee with a quarter of an inch per foot slope. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I just learned something a few months ago and that's the possibility that this part of the sanitary tee isn't coming off of the center line at a 90 degree angle. It's going to be angled up just a little bit to provide a smoother transition for the pipe here that is going to be going at a quarter of an inch per foot angle. Now, I don't know that, I haven't verified that. And if you're a plumber or someone who knows a little more about plumbing fittings, feel free to share that information with us. But it makes sense to me because if I was going to connect another vent horizontal section of a vent to a vertical vent pipe, the sanitary T will need to be upside down. So it will not be installed in the same direction as the one for the drain, where the water is going to be sloping towards the drain. Whereas in this case here, any moisture that will get trapped in this pipe will drain in the opposite direction. It will drain away from the sanitary tee. And the airflow for a plumbing vent system needs to flow in this direction out of the building. Or you can consider the airflow flowing into the building in this direction, however you want to look at it. However, I've also heard plenty of people suggest that this system would work just fine if the sanitary tee was installed in the upright position as this one here. This is one of those building codes that doesn't make 100% sense. I mean, it would make sense if I was using a different type of fitting and that would allow me to run a snake through the plumbing pipe and into this pipe. But in this case here, if I run a snake through this plumbing pipe, it's going to go straight down these pipes here. So again, I'm not a 100% sold on this, but I can tell you that most plumbers install it this way for this type of setup. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a situation where we have a vent coming up and connecting into the other vent here. And yes, plumbers out there, I have this installed backwards. I'm just kind of using it in this example to provide you with one of those airflow things. If the airflow needs to come down, it's going to go around here the shape of the sanitary tee, it's upside down, and then it would flow into here just fine, but over here, it would have a difficult time making this turn, right? Again, I'm not 100% sold on that. So we have two sinks here, sanitary drains are installed in the upright position. As you can see here, the water is going to be flowing down, and the airflow will be going up and down as gravity or atmospheric pressure allows it to. And again, I installed this one here backwards just to provide you with an example of something you shouldn't do. And again, we can see here where the airflow was going up. Another view of it there, airflow going up, out, except this one here, we're going to have to turn it around so that the airflow goes in this direction here. So this is the way your building inspector is going to want to see the sanitary tees installed for this example here. Next up, let's go ahead and connect another vent pipe intersecting into this section of the vent. So we have the same setup as over here. We're coming up and 90 and over, and then we're coming up to the sanitary tee here. So the same setup, again, the air is flowing towards the outside of the house or from the outside of the house in, and any air that would be coming off of this is going to be flowing in this direction. 
and you can kind of see here where every section of the way where the airflow is going we're making a turn here where if this was flipped over supposedly it might be a little more difficult for the air to make this turn here and again if you're a plumber you have some more information on this feel free to share it with us or if you have any questions about the information in the video feel free to share those with us also in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.